morning guys. I'm out in the woods doing a little uh, video. So while I'm out I thought I would show off my Crusader Mark 1. This is the NATO version. You can buy the civilian one. This is the actual NATO, the actual army one. If anybody wants to see the actual, this is the Mark 1. I've got the Mark 2. If you want to see the Mark 2, what the differences are, I'll bring that out the next time. So, let's get into it guys and I'll show you the contents and we'll make a little brew. So, morning guys. I'm out doing a little video. I'm going to have a cheese toasty in this. So while I was out, I thought I would show the Crusader. I've done a video of this a couple of years back and somebody was commenting about it. Uh, I never actually showed the whole kit. So, I thought I would bring it back out to the woods and give it, give you a look. So, this is the actual NATO version. It's got the NATO pouch. This one is made by like canvas. It's very heavy material. You can buy the BCB one, the new one. But it's not as good as this one. So the reason you know it's army because it's stamped inside. Look, it says the date on it. Right, so. Let's get to the content. So it all fits in the little bag, everything. So that's your actual cooker part. I like it because it's got you can put your mess on the bottom. So that's the cooker. And then I've got the actual lid. This is the, the plastic BCB one. I do wish I'd actually bought the heavy cover one. But they're hard to find nowadays, so. If anybody has one and they want to sell it, uh, give me a shout. But so, and I always keep a spoon in here as well, spoon spark, titanium one. So let's get to the actual. So it comes contained like that, if you can see the both of them. So. How you know that the Crusader Cup is the army one is because it's stamped the date. Can we see the date on it? There we go. So BCB. And it's always got a date. And then you've got your water bottle with the actual cup. So your water bottle will be stamped as well. The stop number. Look. And it's always got a date on it. And the actual cup has always got a date as well. So, there we go. So, I'll make a little brew. I'll set it up. And we'll have a little cup of tea. So I'm just using this. I like it because it's got the little ball, you put your fuel into it. So if you fill that little ball up, that is enough for the water to boil uh, 500 mils of water. There we go, that's it. Lit. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, it's got a uh, markings on it. So I can't remember what the bottom marking is, but this marking here is 500 mils. I think that must be 300 maybe. So the actual bottle holds a litre. So you can get two brews. I actually see anybody using these nowadays. 
I've had mines for years, and uh, I was actually watching Phil Wanderer. He was using his when he was out with his mate in the woods. So, there we go, and you just stick it on like that. We'll get all it done, and it should boil quicker. There we go, the water's bubbling. So if you are purifying your water, you need to get that roaring boil, don't you? But this water's uh, just out the tap, so it's fine. So get that into my coffee. Get into this cup. So yeah, the water's boiled. Transfer it into my uh, plastic cup. So there is a bit more mesh left in there. You could boil it for more. There we go. You can't beat a little brew in the woods, can you not? I've actually tested that you can actually boil two cups of water when you actually fill that mess up. So I've overfilled it. I tested it in the house. It's been a, a, a long time since I used it outdoors. So I've used it again and I know that uh, you could probably get a full Crusader cup full. That's, that's 900 mils that cup. But there we go. So. There's my brew ready, and I hope that helps anybody that wanted to know about the Crusader. So thanks for watching guys, I just want to thank everybody for watching the video and uh, if you could give me a thumbs up, it helps on the YouTube thing, the more thumbs up that you get for the videos, so if you could thumbs up the video, but most of all, uh, thanks for watching the video, thanks guys. Catch you in the next one.